Can we do this, Ozzy, without you pecking at the camera? Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Angelica and this is the wonderful Zazu. <laughs> What, did you want a worm? Yes, that is what you look like. No, it is not another bird. Zazu, can you move? I can't see. They can't see me. So Zazu over here is a 10 month old female. I still consider her a baby. She is what you call a red hornbill. I decided to come up with this channel because I realized that after doing so much research, <laughs> so much research on her, that I can't find a lot of information on how to keep them as pets, which is kind of scary and a little bit stressful, but this is what I get for just falling absolutely in love with her. In that case, I wanted to share all the goods, all the bads, all the stressful frustrations that comes with owning a hornbill. Well, I don't mean because she is a mean bird and she has an attitude because she's actually really, really sweet. It's just more of meeting her needs because she is still growing and she still needs that very healthy diet to make sure that her growing is successful. And I'm also trying to meet her needs when it comes to exercising her natural instincts. And I'll get into that in other videos, but she's definitely a different kind of bird, so I want to make sure that she's well taken care of. Okay. Sazi's parents were unfortunately wild caught, so I was very worried about Zazu if she was also wild caught, but she wasn't. She is a captive born baby, right? So she has no experience what it's like in the wild. She has no exposure to her natural lifestyle back home. Now, although I was sad about that, that she will never know what that's like, I decided to kind of just take her into my well, Dante and I decided to take her home and give her the best life we could here. She's a bit confident, so I think we're steering in the right direction, huh, Zazu? First, so the first day that we did come in to see her, we were just trying to get crickets and stuff for her other animals, but Dante immediately saw her first and right away just wanted her. But we did not actually get her yet. We were trying to think about it. We don't want to impulse buy, especially with the animals. We want to make sure that we can definitely be there for them and take our time with them. So we went home and both of us were still thinking about her a lot. We tried kind of getting her out of our minds and everything because we knew that we both wanted her. He looked up other breeding websites and even made calls to see to see if uh, to see if um, how they how much their hornbills cost. And a lot of them actually never heard of our little red hornbill, huh? They don't even know about you much. Others said that, well, there's a wait list for these birds and you would have to pay a thousand up front before you receive the bird. So these birds weren't born yet and then there was like 12 people on the wait list. <sighs> You're not another bird, Zazu. It's you, I promise. There's no other bird in my life. It's just you. Mm -hmm. 
breeders that ask for a thousand up front and then you're on a wait list and for birds that are not born yet so it kind of takes 12 like a year for these birds to come in um that i could appreciate though because you definitely want these birds to be in a good home they're not just pets to buy and then neglect them and thinking they can just take care of themselves these birds really need good care so i do appreciate that these breeders do put a lot of time into it with cost and wait time and because if you really want a home bill you will you will definitely wait <laughs> but um with her we thought about her a lot more in particular The next morning, Dante called and asked if she was still there, and she was. So we said that um, to reserve our spot because we were gonna pick her up. And that's what exactly what we did. We went there as soon as the stores opened and we bought her right there and then, which was a good timing because there was another couple that was planning on buying her <laughs> and we got her first, so. When we brought her home, <laughs> she was pretty stressed out. I mean, she was not really having it. It was like a culture shock for her. Can you tell everyone how you escaped your cage three times at the store and two times at home? No? Come. <laughs> you look comfortable now. She wants more rooms. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's get you another one. She already knows some routines. She already knows 
how we feed her, where she goes when she eats. I even recognize that this sound means she wants the worms. She's made a lot of progress since we first got her. It's, she doesn't mind being next to me. She doesn't mind that she's on my arm anymore. She doesn't really go and hide from the shelves, only if she's moody. But other than that, she's been great. This means she wants worms, like she really needs worms. So yeah, that's us. <laughs> I know you want your worm, huh? Now she doesn't quite go in her cage yet. She doesn't, she really does not like being in her cage. So we're working on that. Um, that's a whole nother challenge and a whole nother chapter, a whole nother video. So we've just been doing it this way. She likes being on the rack. She likes hanging out with us outside at all times. And she likes demanding food. Um, I do a lot for her where I make sure that she's getting stimulated. I'm still coming up with more games, so it takes time. You dropped your worm. You dropped your worm. Yeah. See how comfortable she is with me now? She wouldn't, it took like a month for her to do this. With birds, like it takes a long, it, it doesn't take a couple days. It doesn't take a couple you know weeks sometimes it takes months and for her pace it's been a month and a half that it took her to really feel like a good bond with us so i'm really happy that she's came a long way huh are you gonna want more worms or do you want to go and say bye to everybody should we say bye to everybody yeah all right, guys, we'll see you on the next video, and we hope that you enjoyed our first one. There's many chapters with her, many things I want to work on with her, so please continue to watch us, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, Zazu. Say bye.